Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the BBC show The Pact. The setup for the show is kind of interesting. They have new episodes out every week on Mondays and Tuesdays, but you can also watch the entire thing as in you can binge it on iPlayer. This show follows four women who all work in a production line at a brewery. Anna, one of the women, is interviewing for a supervisor job, so she's looking for a promotion, but her interview doesn't go well. The owner is the stereotype of a rich fail son, Jack, who in inherited the company from his father but there is a lot of shadiness behind how he inherited it. Jack eventually gives the job to Mandy who he suggests is keen so Anna and Tish lose out on the job because they didn't want to flirt with Jack. Their brewery has a party that evening and all the women are there and Anna decides to key Jack's car and for the most part the women drink they have a good time but they're also kind of blowing off a bit of steam because they're frustrated with Jack and his drunk drug rich kid antics. The the women save Tish from being harassed by Jack in the parking lot as they're leaving and they decide to wrangle the very drunk and high Jack into the boot of Nancy, the designated driver's car, with the idea of eventually taking embarrassing photos of him that will go viral. They end up taking him into the woods and they take photos of him with his trousers down and they decide to drive back home and just leave him there. Anna and Nancy eventually decide that they can't and they go back for him only to discover that he's dead. That's when the absolute avalanche of bad decision making starts. Anna wants to call the cops right away but Nancy and the others don't want to go to the police so they all agree to keep the secret and it's interesting because Nancy who seems to be the leader, she manages to get everybody to stay silent is a really religious person. We see her praying, we see her in church but she's the one who is hell bent on keeping this lie going. They all decide to go into work the next day and try not to be suspicious but of course Jack is found by somebody who's walking their dog in the woods and the police come and they eventually take Mandy away to the station because it's her credit card that they find in the woods in the area that they're canvassing. So it seems as though for now the women are kind of lucky they're getting away with it. Even though they agree to stick to their story by the end of episode one there are already a couple of reasons why this won't work. First Anna's husband is a policeman. Not even any policeman. He's kind of the head policeman on this very case and sure she does get some helpful inside information for example, she's able to scrub her keys clean after he tells her that they're kind of looking into the keying of Jack's car. Still, though, he's in charge of the case and she's jumpy as heck with a guilty conscience. It's just a matter of time. In one scene, as the women are agreeing to keep their story straight, Tish overhears them. Now, remember, they saved Tish from being harassed by Jack, so she could be the one to place them outside of the brewery with Jack. Their story so far is that they didn't see him leave and they last saw him inside. Then we see Nancy's husband. They seem to be estranged. They sleep in separate bedrooms and hardly talk to each other. He finds the charred remains of some evidence that she'd burned. And since he doesn't seem to like her much, who knows? He can't be trusted to really keep the secret. By the end of the episode, all the women receive a text from an anonymous person telling them that they know what they did and they want money. I haven't read too much about the show, but I'm guessing that the women are going to eventually maybe turn on each other in an attempt to save their own selves as they're being tormented by this anonymous texter who wants money and is threatening to expose them. Am I going to carry on watching the show? Yes. It looks like a mature, much better produced version of a Pretty Little Liars type of story and it's also set in Wales so some of the scenery is really beautiful. I also like that it's for kind of middle-aged women who find themselves in this absolutely absurd impossible situation and and it'll just be interesting to see how they navigate it and whether their friendship still stays intact. In terms of quality of the storyline, this show is not exactly a mayor of East Town or Broadchurch, but I enjoyed the first episode enough to carry on with it. So good enough for me. Anyway, that's it for this very quick video. Thank you for watching.